Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a look at the recreation of the Mass Effect SSV Normandy. Today's design is a creator requested look at the SSV Normandy SR2 capital vessel. This is an unlock level 25 size class 21 capital vessel coming to us from creator ISZ Gespenter. Now my initial impression of the ship is that the design is more geared towards recreating the original look of the Normandy from the games. However, there are certain aspects that are available for functionality, so let's dive in and take a look. Now first off, the wing sections of the ship actually do have a good bit of landing gear as well as engines right here as you can see. However, most of the inside is dedicated to things such as RCS, and of course to your fuel storage and just oxygen storage basically it's all storage nothing really other than that so there's nothing inside the wing sections you're going to be walking down and interacting with so what that means is that the hangar bay and the main entrance area is a lot higher from the ground than normal so if you're wanting to use this to deploy hover vessels you're probably going to want some kind of ramp or base that accommodates landing this next to it so you can pull everything back up into it. Coming into the hangar bay, you see it's not really that big. We don't have much room. It's really just meant for a couple of small scout craft, something to, you know, send down to a planet surface or to a space station to drop people off. So starting here, we have an oxygen station, a repair station, an advanced constructor, and a switch labeled R which gives you a way to open up the ramps outside. From this side, we have an armor locker, a repair station, and a second advanced constructor with a switch for closing the hangar door. Now, one thing to note is when you close the door using the switch, it does close a set of ramps, so it makes the outside of the ship look more flush and uniform rather than having a big gap showing off that hangar door. We also have a repair bay module in the middle of this room, as well as two sentry guns in case some hostiles are on the ships that land. Heading through the door here, we come into an elevator and we are on the fifth deck, now heading up to deck number four, where we will find our lookout area into the small hangar bay and some doors on each side of the hallway. Here we have some stairs that lead down into a small cargo bay area where you see we have cargo boxes and harvest cargo boxes. We also have over here a bed and two small side tables as well as a passenger seat. I'm assuming for whoever is maintaining control of this cargo area. Now, while you can see there's a large number of cargo boxes here, there are actually some more ammo boxes tucked away inside the walls between this room and the hangar bay. Now that you see there are some hidden areas, we also have a few places that are easily accessible while still being hidden. And over here you see we have some grow plots hidden away behind a trap door here, which of course might be a problem with hitting yourself in the face with it as you're trying to leave the room. And of course the other side of the hangar bay has the same setup. So you do have some grow plots available in the ship and they are hidden away. So now back on deck four above the hangar bay area, we go back through this same door and instead of taking the stairs down to the cargo bay, we're going to go in here where you find some control panels, more passenger seats, and another door leading into an engineering area where we have our repair console. So if you want to actually do any specific repairs with it, you'll have to come all the way up here for it. And then in this area, you see we have a very enclosed little area very well protected section and what this is is a lot of fuel storage plus you will find rcs in here some generators as well as buried somewhere in the middle your core this is basically the core of the ship allowing you a lot of protection in battle where you still have functionality that will keep going until the very core of it is destroyed now we know what is down the hallway here going this way we come into another room and it is just sort of a little bedroom, you know, special officer quarters. We have a bed, table, a desk, nice little shelf desk area, and a passenger seat. And then coming back out, we go to the other side of this hallway where you will find a matching setup. With this leading down, of course, 
to the cargo area, this leading back to the repair area, and this one leading to a different type room where we have a lot of bookshelves, wardrobe, and a little cryo chamber type thing in the back. So now heading up to level three, we come into this area where we have, of course, another plain looking hallway. Coming here, we have a shower bathroom type area with a small little counter. In here, we have a nice little lounge area. We have two little couch areas, some passenger seats, and a switch, which opens up the shutter doors, allowing you to see outside the ship here. Now, the other side of the ship over here is the same setup, where we have the same bathroom accommodations here, as well as on this side, a similar lounge, where we have the lounge over here, but also a bed, a nice little desk type bar setup, really, and a kitchenette. And then another switch that opens up, of course, the doors here so you can see outside the ship. Now, across from the elevator, we have two doors, and the door on the right takes you into a lounge area type thing where we have several couch setups as well as some closets. And the door on the left takes you into more of a barracks room where you have some bunk beds you know, some hangout tables and two more passenger seats. We also have this gap here, which what this is, is another one of those trap doors, like we've already seen, that leads from this area up here, here in the corner. If you come here, you will drop down to this elevator, which gives you access to a room with some cargo boxes. Now, this is not the big deal. The big deal is when you go through either of these side doors, you come into the main hidden cargo area, and as you can see, we have cargo boxes stretching way in the distance, row after row, giving you a ton of storage in this place. Heading around the back of the elevator on deck three, we come into the cafeteria area where we have, of course, long tables for the crew to sit and eat at. And then we have the kitchen area where we have, of course, a passenger seat for whoever the chef is. We have a total of five fridges and two food processors here giving you plenty of food for your crew as well as two armor lockers over here for everybody to take their armor off while they eat just so they can relax now in this area we have a door to the right we have a door to the left and we have a door straight ahead down the middle so starting from the left we come over here and we are in sort of a command area again but we also have nice tv for relaxing so it's not too up tight of course we got this little lounge area here with a tv and then in here a little bedroom type area so maybe this is more of the captain's quarters so he gets the two big screen tvs the control console so he knows what's going on and things like that taking the door on the right side we come into the med bay where you see we have some workstations we also have a clone chamber and medic station and our medical scanners right here giving you plenty of healing capabilities on your ship and then going through this door here, we come into a, I guess, high-tech medical area. Maybe this is the MRI's EKG machine type things. Maybe that's something we still have at this time in the future. And now, passing between the kitchen area and the armor lockers, we come between this hallway of cryo chambers and down into an engineering area where we have quite a few workstations around the area. We also have these decorative antennas which are set up backwards i guess so it looks more like there's some kind of function with that and of course more over here and now heading up to deck number two we come into the area that most players of the mass effect series will recognize from the ship and this is the main command area where most of the action really happens in the game when you're on the normandy now this area has a large number of desks lining the walls, so you have plenty of workstations for your crew members. And then following the walkway here, we come to one of the back side doors, where here we have access to a lab type area where you have lab tables, some storage, and a nice gravity generator showing here in the background. Continuing through the door back here, we come into a hallway that leads to this room where we have a large number of passenger seats, so you know, a space for extra crew, or maybe a reserve space for protecting crew when under heavy attack. And then going through the door over here, we come into another little lab type area where you see we have lab tables, things like that, and another gravity generator showing there in the side. 
Now, of course, the other end of the room, we have a walkway that leads past quite a few displays, giving you a lot of information around the area. I can assume this would be where people would be standing, looking at displays for information and coming down the stairs. Make sure you don't go too fast or you will launch yourself off the stairs. Now we have more display consoles, more workspaces and chairs lining the sides, as well as two gravity generators on the sides there and more cryo chambers. And now we are finally in the actual bridge where we have a large number of passenger seats for crew members, a lot of displays, decorative consoles, and of course your pilot seat right here in the middle. Over here on this one side, we also have a door and lever. The lever will open up this little shutter door area right here. So you do have a spot you can go walk out into space from right here or just deploy right onto a base platform wherever you land the ship. And finally, heading up to deck number one, we come to this very plain, undecorated hallway where you see we just have a ventilator and a door. And then leading into this area, we come through another door into a very nice living quarters area where we have a nice little seat over there. We have a nice little display tank type thing here. We have an armor locker. We have a very ornamental looking bed set up as well as a nice couch lounge area. And then, of course, what else but a very nice private bathroom setup. So once again, this is the SSV Normandy SR2 recreated from the Mass Effect games. This is an unlock level 25 size class 21 capital vessel. It carries a whopping 553 fuel tanks, giving you a total capacity of 2,397,000 fuel. However, with the thrusters turned off just sitting on the ground, I have only 149 hours of use. With that much fuel capacity, I would expect it to be a lot more, but then again, we have a lot more stuff on the ship using up power. It also carries a total of 475 oxygen tanks, giving you a total capacity of 921,000 O2. This seems a bit ridiculous as it only takes 8,528 oxygen to fill it up, and of course, there are 21 ventilators due to some of the corridor design, but it only comes with one oxygen station, one medic station, and one clone chamber. Now, in terms of attack and defense, this thing is fully loaded with four rocket turrets, six flak turrets, six pulse laser turrets, four drill turrets, two artillery turrets, six cannon turrets, six minigun turrets, two sentry guns, four rocket launchers, six pulse lasers, and then four multi turrets. You will also find a total of 163 cargo boxes and 39 ammo boxes, plus the five fridges, two food processors, and two advanced constructors. And of course, when it comes to resource requirements to build this, it is quite expensive. With nearly 172,000 Sathium and 112,000 iron, this is a very late game ship. You will also need over 30,000 neodymium and cobalt and over 24,000 arrestrum and zascosium. So if you are planning to build this legitimately in game, you better be prepared to do a lot of harvesting. So as I said, based on the design, my initial impression is that this is more focused on recreating the design from the Mass Effect games than on functionality. You really have no way to deploy hover vessels down, which of course the Normandy did not have a design for that anyway. This is also a massive ship, which means obviously it's going to burn a lot of fuel flying around a planet or moon. However, there are some nice aspects of the design that I find will be useful for people on maybe a multiplayer server because of the fact that there is an extra layer buffer in many places of armor as well as the attention to the core area as I showed you where there is a large number of generators, oxygen, fuel, RCS, everything you need to keep the ship going tucked away behind multiple layers of armor. So once again, this is the SSV Normandy SR2 by creator ISZ Gespinter. If you would like to check the design out and try it in your own game, I will have a link in the description below. And if you try it out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment on the workshop page. That is it for today's workshop video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I am your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.